What is up guys, Fahan here and welcome back to another Ultimate Review This is the review of the CF Moto 800MT Huge thanks to CF Moto Singapore for um, loaning me this bike for the review Alright guys, so welcome back to the city of Madini here in um, Iskandar Putri Of course, the best place and the usual place where I do the bike reviews And here I have with me is the CF Moto 800MT It has been highly requested by you guys for some time now And some of you guys have been asking me when am I going to review this bike I received many repeated questions uh, So finally, found some time Despite my busy schedule on clearing all the India backlog Doing my research on this 800MT online This seems to be uh, CF's Moto's darling They've promoted this bike a lot on social media Loan it out to reviewers, moto vloggers Placed it front and centre So there's a whole lot of info online that you can get on the CF Moto 800MT No shortage of videos, reviews um, articles to read you know but for us as usual we're gonna do our usual riding review lah. so sitting on this bike right now it's kind of tall I had to use the BMW GS way to mount on the bike which is to step on the foot pack and this bike is fitted with a lot of accessories weight of 231 kg including its top side cases similar leaks in this class slightly lighter than the BMW GS 19 liter fuel tank with a projected range of 300 kilometers now this is tried and tested from the guys at CF Moto they have informed me about this until basically the um, low fuel indicator lights up lah so once again Jeremy huge shout out to you yeah okay so we're gonna start off the bike so uses a key I think in certain countries there's actually an option for you to get a keyless transponder but for Singapore they only brought in one variation Okay, so twist technician, you can see the TFT gauge cluster lighting up with the animation of uh, the air empty on screen. Push down the ignition button. Whew. It has a very throaty exhaust note. Quite a loud, which I'm not really digging it, but you get used to it. And it's very punchy right off the line when you first got on it uh. For 800cc, middle weight bike It's very 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 twitchy eh? Comes with a bi-directional quick shifter So without shifting the clutch, you can shift up, shift down But it does get jerky if you didn't use the clutch lah. So uh, highly recommended that you use the clutch instead But it's nice to have that convenience you know um, when you're up shifting, you're down shifting, it feels kind of similar to a cup chai where there's that bit of jerk. Okay, signal indicators, they are automatic cancelling, but it does get kind of irritating because sometimes you want a signal longer, it cancels automatically for you, so you need to activate the signals again. Similar to the uh, Harry Pan M, I have to say that I'm quite intimidated by its tall right height uh, because for me, I'm 165, I need to get used to it, lah. but for me, I think uh, it's still manageable. So, at first, when I hopped on this bike riding back home, uh, <laughs> the Total response, whoo, it's very twitchy, it's possible. Gets kind of cumbersome. Okay, but once you get adapted to it, once you get used to it, running it around in city streets, slow moving traffic, it's okay. It's actually the handling is actually very good. It's not that bad, only you need to get adapted to it lah. The guys at CF Moto uh, he says that with the side cases it gets a bit cumbersome, but once you remove the side cases It's okay And it comes with cornering ABS Really helps with the stability When you are negotiating bends and corners And you're trying to slow down Whew. And it's very nimble I can like, you know, do this Very easily Wow So the handling on it Though the weight does get thrown around here and there As you're running at the first Once you get adapted to it It's actually not bad Okay, slow moving traffic start stop situations no issue but this bike is best on the highway see not using the clutch at all just changing gears shifting gears up and down Ooh, engine braking is also damn good on this 
brakes on a dime we got three brake rotors two in front one in the rear calipers provided by J. Juan. The suspension is pretty adjustable it's very good you can adjust it to your liking for me i feel that it's firm which is pretty nice for me and of course being a venture bike a kind of tall bike uh, really helps when you're getting through tall humps at tuas checkpoint and all the irritating humps at the immigration uh, really provides a nice comfortable ride and i like the cockpit view right now okay um really gives a nice commanding view of the road in front of you windshield is not too distracting it's all within the eyesight like when you want to glance down at the tft display which i must, I must add uh, is very clear in bright daylight right now though it looks blurry because there's a screen protector fitted on it but yeah you can make out all of the details you know and all the information that's being displayed on the tft display you know as i'm negotiating this uh, roundabout right now there's a lot of grip on the bike i can really feel the bike's tires hugging the ground but of course this is not fitted with the stock tires stock tires i'm being told is maxis this is actually uh, i think bridgestone but i have to say this bike city setting no issue lah but you know with the side cases being fitted on the bike right now you know when you want to squeeze in the traffic it does get kind of intimidating it's slightly almost the same as the handlebars but still <laughs> it's kind of intimidating it's not as bad as a gs though a gs oh man that is a nightmare when you want to negotiate the immigrations and uh, lane splitting <laughs> <Whoop. laughs> wrong gear <laughs> <laughs> First launched in 2021, the CF Moto 800MT is an adventure touring bike based around the old KTM 790 adventure platform. As the company's flagship, the 800MT is CF Moto's most ambitious motorcycle yet, with over the top riding tech and features in collaboration with well known names in the industry, namely Bosch, KYB, and J. Juan. Engine is derived from the KTM LC8 parallel twin as used on the KTM 790 series of bikes. A 799cc liquid cool 4 stroke parallel twin cylinder DOHC, 4 valves per cylinder with Bosch electronic fuel injection and a 6 speed manual transmission with bi directional quick shifter. Okay, so first and foremost, before we get started with the static review, we gotta talk about the engine of the CF Moto uh, 800MT. It's shared with the KTM 790 Adventure and the 800NK. CF Moto struck a deal with KTM to produce KTM Brandon bikes in China. And likewise, KTM has distributed CF Moto bikes in Europe. Lah. There's also a technical alliance between the two and many of CF Moto's models feature KTM derived engines. Right guys, so as usual, we can start off with the riding posture. Okay, so sitting on his back right now, as you can see, is this upright, tall riding position that you'd expect of an adventure bike. For me, I really love the riding position. It's very comfortable, um, riding long distance. Your bum doesn't ache, your back doesn't ache. Uh, very comfortable and yeah, I think for touring, uh, no issues lah. It's certainly the sitting position that I'm used to also. And I really love how this riding stance really provides a nice commanding view of the road. And also the windshield, it deflects the wind pretty well I must say. And it's manually adjustable also lah. With right height of 82.5cm and 165 and as you can see, I'm tiptoeing considerably on it. Kind of tall for me and intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, certainly something you need to get used to and shorter riders, you're definitely out of luck lah. And to mount on it, I had to mount the BMW GS way is with the side stand down and use the foot pack and mount it up and down accordingly lah because it's just that tall. Up next, we come to the general design and outlook of the CF Moto 800MT. Okay, from its general outlook, as you can see, it obviously mimics the off-road ADV look. Rugged styling, sharp and angular lines. Modern, but at the same time, it's still recognizable, not too futuristic, not too radical. Um, it's actually designed by Kiska, which is the same uh, design house that designs most of KTM's bikes. And definitely, when you look at it up close, so when you look at it twice, there's some resemblance and design language to KTM machines, of course. Though I feel the 800MT is not as radical 
as the KTM 790 Adventure lah, which yeah really appeals to me actually. <laughs> Somewhat a cross between the Triumph Tiger Rally Explorer 1200 and KTM 790 Adventure. Its headlights and unique looking beak is supposed to give off a hawk look. Okay, spoke rims which are lightweight and impact resilient. Integrated crash guard. This particular bike, as you can see, has been dropped several times from the damage to the cash bar. But there's not a single scratch on the rest of the body works from my observation. There's also an off-road crash bar option available, which is slightly wider and it offers more protection. We got integrated fog lights, it blends well with its design. Batch plate and handguards come as standard while it's an accessory on most mainstream bikes okay i'm looking at you uh, the japanese manufacturers and we got cf moto branded side cases and top box with the bracket as well when you buy it off the showroom this is what you get and as you can see there's a real easter egg with the 39 degree on the side over here so this is actually a tribute to the crossing of the talimakan desert at 39 degree north latitude so i presume that this was a test that cf moto did to show off the resilience and reliability of the mt900 lah. overall uh, the design appeals to me really nice looking to the eye while not looking too futuristic lah. right guys so i'm next to come to the handlebar handlebar controls and tft gauge cluster okay so for the handlebar it's a nice white adventure bar it's silver in color my favorite doesn't blend in with the black, you know, <laughs> naked also. All kinds of accessory you can put here. Insta360, phone mount, whatever you want to put, you can put. And not to forget, there's also heated grips on this and handlebar protectors. Comes standard, okay? All right, so handlebar controls wise, the left over here, to the front, we got the high beam, low beam, flashing button, cruise control, and the up down button, the back and set button is to adjust and toggle the TFT display over here. Okay, we got the signal indicators, horn, the fog lamps to the right and to the right over here we got the hazard and the kill switch and starter lah. pretty simple and straightforward you want to start it twist the ignition and you can see the seven inch tft gauge cluster lighting up okay so to toggle once again you press the set button just once and then it brings you to the information panel so you can see the tpms range voltmeter and the temperature of the bike lah. Press long press down, you can adjust between the modes. Okay, so there's the phone connectivity, navigation. Uh, this navigation is not really the maps kind, but more of a turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Lah. So you actually link it up to your phone and you can use it lah. So settings is where you can adjust all of the other settings, right? Like drive mode, which you can toggle between the drive modes. We got sport and rain mode. Handlebar grip heater, you can turn it on from here. Seat heater, connections, and the rest of the other settings that you can toggle with. Lah. And we're back to the main gauge cluster display. Lah. So you may see that it's a bit blurry because of the protective cover that's on the TFT display right now. Okay, but it's all right. <laughs> to the left over here, we got the temperature gauge mode. And then the center, we got the speedometer and the tachometer surrounding it. We got the range displayed in the center below the speedometer. And to the right, we got the gear indicator, fuel gauge. The top over here, we have the trip meter, temperature, time. And below is all of the warning lights for the bike. Lah. Whew. That's it. So as you say, Moto, you can definitely expect a lot of running tech and features that even mainstream manufacturers don't even care to put. Definitely, they are doing this to attract the customers to come into CF Moto. They have successfully did it lah with all of the top end features that's available on this middleweight uh, adventure bike. Uh. And these features are pretty much standard across the board. Just to let you guys know, in Singapore, however, CF Moto Singapore only brought in one variant, which is the highest end. So some of the features may differ from other regions. Lah. Okay, so to this down a few, okay, we got LED lighting all around. Two riding modes, sports and rain. In rain mode, throttle response is gentle to improve safety by minimizing tire spin in wet conditions. We got a bi-directional quick shifter up and down, super clutch, cruise control, which I really appreciate on such a bike, electronic fuel injection provided by Bosch, heated grips and seat. I didn't really try it out because uh, it's really hot out. And uh, yeah, but it's a nice thing to have, you know, when you are 
you know, when it's raining or when the weather is cold, especially if you're riding in the night time in Malaysia, it can get pretty cold. Lah. Tire pressure monitoring system, cornering ABS with three disc brakes and calipers by J. Joan. Better stability when decelerating into the corners and bends. For suspension, we got a KYT branded inverted telescopic Fox with preload adjustment. Rear mono shock is also adjustable. Full color 7 inch TFT gauge cluster, hazard lights. Auto cancelling turn indicators. To charge on the go, we got two USB ports on the left and to the right, we got a conventional 12 volt socket. You can put in an adapter and charge anything you want. And this particular feature is not available for Singapore models. There's also a keyless option for the 800MT. Also to add on, the throttle is a ride by wire. Alright guys, so for accessories, um, the Safe Moto 800MT being a very popular model, available in Europe, Asia, um, there's a lot of aftermarket accessories available from OEM manufacturer CF Moto and also third party. Lah. So horn check for the CF Moto 800MT. Oh my god, it's so high pitched and it's so loud. <laughs> Alright guys, so up next we come to the colours and this particular model is called the uh, Ocean Blue which is basically CF Moto's standard flagship colours. Uh, we also got the Sandstone Yellow, well not much of a yellow colour but more of a brownish kind of desert colour which is supposed to be a limited edition and for that model it comes with black aluminium side cases and top box as opposed to the silver ones fitted on this colour lah. That one is my favourite honestly and I've seen it, it looks pretty sweet and yeah, reminds me of one one who is riding that bike right now. <laughs> Alright guys, so for this current variation right now, um, CF Moto is actually creating stock and they're actually going to bring in a new 2023 model which is called the uh, Explorer Edition. Features will be added with a minor facelift. And for the tyres, it uses Michelin as opposed to Maxxis tyres on the current model. We got an upgraded 8-inch TFT display with touchscreen and I'm being told there's also Apple CarPlay also. And we got an interesting feature which is called a rear radar for blind spot monitoring and collision warning. So they're going to fit a sensor at the rear of the bike. I personally, I don't know how this is going to work but it certainly sounds interesting. And for the colours to distinguish it from the previous generation, it's going to be two colours which is gem black and starry white. So up next, you come to the price. Okay, so according to CF Moto Singapore, machine price is 29,900. They're having a promotion currently for this bike as they want to clear stock. Okay, so a free aftermarket SC project exhaust. And this is while stock lasts, of course. Warranty is three years from the manufacturer and two years from the dealer. In Malaysia, the machine price is 53,800 ringgit. Wow, this bike is really a fun bike to play with. Uh. Very punchy acceleration in sports mode. And these gimmicky features that's on this bike right now. Whew. Feels as if, uh, honestly speaking, I'm riding a BMW with all of these features. Cruise control, heated seat, heated grips, a cornering ABS, TFT display. What else you want? I mean, it's a, basically a BMW GS at half the price. And even BMW, you know, they charge a lot for accessories and they don't even include accessories right on the gecko but for you know, CF Moto, they include the crash guards, the side cases the suspension wise is damn good you got KYB Fox really exhausts most of the impact the road bumps and imperfections providing you that nice comfortable ride uh, this particular model that they brought in for Singapore is more of a touring variation of course you can do some off-roading with it uh, and in fact uh, this bike, it is encouraged that you do some off-roading on it and it does have the capabilities of uh, off-roader but in its heart, it is much much suited for touring and uh, street riding mostly lah. but I mean as a touring bike, it's good to have these features on standby in case you need to do some off-roading, any unpredictable road conditions lah. Oh, kind of irritating with all this stop stop traffic eh? <laughs> Okay, so let's get on the highway soon And of course, you know, being shared with the 790 It does have that distinct KTM sound lah. I think CF Moto, they have made great strides With their partnership with KTM And even domestically in China uh, They produce the KTM bikes there as well And in exchange um, CF Moto bikes are being distributed in Europe, in the UK, Ireland by KTM uh, which if you ask me is a pretty good deal and this bike in Europe they have nothing but good and high praises about it 
looking at the reviews online lah. But personally, I would love to have an owner, you know, who has ridden the 800 MT for quite some time. Talk about it. It gets up to speed pretty quickly. You now, after riding it for quite a while, you feel the heat on the engine. But if you're wearing long pants and high cut riding boots, it's okay. Lah. It's bearable. Lah. It's still bearable. But you do feel the heat in your shins right now. As an added bonus, there's the cruise control that you can play with so that you don't tie out your hand. <laughs> <laughs> No, this bike you can go very fast with it even with the side cases I'm pleasantly surprised at this speed you know at 130 right now um, it's very stable you feel you don't feel as if the bike is like you know uh, tank slapping or anything I'm very surprised at this performance but that's the fastest and probably the bravest that I'll go to lah. I'll never go beyond surprisingly stable and it deflects the wind very well you got this um, manually adjustable windshield in front of you you don't feel the wind hitting your face your body at high speeds I mean it's just a wonderful machine so let's try out the cruise control okay cruise control activated press down 110 <laughs> it's as easy as that very similar operation to BMW GS and it really maintains the speed uh. oh my gosh touring with cruise control on is just a dream lah guys and all the while I've been riding bikes with no cruise control up to Thailand and all that <laughs> to have cruise control like you know to test out a bike with cruise control is just a dream a uh, very pleasant experience to have uh. at least your end your arm doesn't get tired no <laughs> and it automatically switches off when you press in the clutch or you tap on the brakes and if you want to overtake for example you just throttle out and you overtake <laughs> and it goes back to the same speed that it was before when you adjusted the cruise control if you're like obeying the speed limit it's the best for you lah. I just adjust the bike to 110 ride the bike up to 110 kilometers and turn on cruise control and you just cruise control down the highway and just overtake vehicle once again <laughs> and wow the acceleration on this the pickup whoo I wouldn't say it's as good as a GS but it gets the job done it's more than enough it's not really that Talky, I would say, but the talk is still there. Touring with it is gonna be a nice and awesome experience, uh. and very stable, very smooth, nice, comfortable ride. Uh, the vibrations does get a bit irritating because you can feel the vibrations on the tank, the handlebar, the foot pegs right now. But it's still bearable. It's not that bad. Honestly speaking, having the time of my life with the bike, I've, I, and I have nothing but high praises for it. If you want a BMW GS, but you cannot really afford it, you know, given its high price tag, or you feel that you will like the GS, but you feel that why should I pay so much? This is a nice alternative, lah. I mean, CF Moto, their most popular model is the Air MT in Singapore, from what I know, and it's because of these features, lah, that they've packed in, you know, into this bike at such an attractive price tag alright guys so I have been fortunate to be given the opportunity to bring back the safe moto air MT I know highly requested from you guys and this is actually one of the bikes that I wanted to review for quite some time or so lah and all I can say is that you know it's really like a cis army knife of a bike lots of features riding tech accessories fitted right off the gecko from the dealership no need to purchase any additional accessories um, it's all there and all the riding features as well heated grips heated seats usually for bmw gs is like an option but this is right off the dealership 
end at an attractive price point as well. Great performance and acceleration. Fun factor is definitely there. The pickup can be quite twitchy. Throaty exhaust note and all of these features half the price of a BMW GS. Shortcomings, I feel that the seat is a bit too high, especially for shorter riders like myself. It's certainly something you need to get used to. Uh, exhaust note is a bit too loud for my liking. Throaty exhaust note, I must add. Huh? Uh, but sounds really KTM-ish. I mean, this is shared with the KTM 790 after all. And its Chinese origins may hold some doubt. But slowly, I feel that it's winning the hearts of the riders. La. Okay, so ever since this bike hits uh, Singapore Shore, the 800MT is probably the most popular CF Moto model here. Heck, you know, we even had a CF Moto 800MT tagging along with us on our convoy trip recently. And he even made it to Thailand. La. So. Congrats, one one. <laughs> this is a shout out to you, by the way. Yeah. And honestly speaking, after spending the past week with it, I couldn't help but to respect CF Moto's efforts in making such a bike with respectable specs, performance, accessories added in, priced all packaged in this attractive price tag. Those initial efforts, of course, is to attract customers, but slowly but surely, it's winning the hearts of the riding community, giving the CF Moto brand the popularity and the following it deserves. Lah. Finally, a shout out to Two Men Two Bike, Pefa and Daniel. Both of them are currently on their journey right now on their 800 MT. I think they're somewhere in Central Asia. <laughs> Again, with such a journey, it really proves the reliability of the CF Moto 800 MT. Lah. Once again, huge thanks to the official dealer, uh, CF Moto Singapore, for loaning me this bike for the review. Um, you guys can go down to the showroom at Kapung Ubi, check out this bike, um, and also test ride it. They also got the whole range of CF Moto bikes that's available for test rides. And uh, yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Hopefully, you like this review, and we'll see you guys in the next one.